everybody, it's Robin here. I thought I would take a few minutes today to show you how to make one of my favorite Epicure desserts, and that is the luscious lemon curd. This has become something that we're having on multiple different ways. We make a lemon loaf with it. I use it often in the mornings now with my yogurt. I'll mix it with some fresh berries and my, my yogurt and then a little bit of lemon curd in there. It just makes a really great breakfast with some granola in too. Um, so we've been going through this quite a bit now. So we're gonna be making some more today. So I thought I would make a quick little video to show you how to do it. Really, really simple to make. All you need is your packet here. You need three eggs and you need a half cup of water, stuff that you probably already have at home, right? And then lastly, at the end, you're gonna add in a little about a tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna start by cracking my eggs here. I'll just flip this screen a little bit so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna crack these eggs in here. And I'm using Epicure's four cup prep bowl uh, to use this. You can use any microwave safe dish. Uh, to be able to make this in your microwave, or you can do this stove top as well. Okay, so we've got our eggs in there. I'm just gonna give these a good mix with our mini whisk. This is a great kitchen tool to have just for these types of jobs. So once that's nicely mixed up and scrambled, you can add in your half cup of water and your seasoning mix. So I've got Epicure's new prep pro scissors here. Great, nice and sharp. Also really great as like kitchen shears. So you can use them for, you know, cutting pizza dough or cutting chicken or veggies and that kind of stuff. Put that in there and then we're just gonna give this a nice mix. And make sure that that liquid is all fully incorporated into your egg mix with your water. So you can see that's fully mixed in there. Now I'm just gonna set this in the microwave. First, you're gonna start it off for two minutes. You're gonna check it and stir it at the one minute point, and then you're gonna check it again at the one minute point to see how things are going. Okay, so I've set that for two minutes. At the one minute mark, I'm gonna check it and give it a good stir. Really what you're stirring it for is just to make sure that your eggs in there aren't cooking and making like chunky scrambled eggs in the midst of your curd, because that's gonna make it a little bit chunky and give you a weird texture with it. So you wanna keep mixing it around the one minute point, and then you'll check it again in another minute. And then beyond that, you're gonna do it in 30 second increments. Uh, for my microwave, it takes two 30 second increments, so an extra minute over top of that, but it really depends on the wattage of your microwave. The other thing that you should know too with the lemon curd is the color that you actually get from your packaging really depends on your egg quality. So the darker the egg color, the better looking your lemon curd is gonna be and the darker and more rich lemon it's gonna look, rich yellow. Um, and that really has to do with the um, foods that your chickens are eating. So I like to go with an omega-3 type um, egg or you can go if you have access to farm fresh eggs or even better. Just gonna give that a quick stir. You can see this is starting to thicken up here. I can show you a little bit there. But still quite watery after a minute. And icky. Okay, we'll set that in for another minute. and I'm gonna wipe up the egg that I just spilled all over my counter, so that's great. Um, the other thing too with these, this lemon curd, once it's finished, you can make really great things. So the package, which I'll show you here, shows you these beautiful lemon tarts, which those make, um, if you get a package of the pre-made tarts, you can make about 24 of them with this package. Uh, so you can do those, or if you're really handy and you like to make and make a really good pastry, which I don't make a good pastry, uh, you can make your own and certainly it'll give you about two dozen of the mini tarts or I think it's 12 of the bigger tarts. You can actually even use this to do a lemon meringue pie if you like those types of things as well. Just do your, cheat, your lemon curd first and then you mix up your meringue. The other thing that I use it for too is to make a really easy dessert when I'm making fresh, fresh whipped cream, um, which is just a cup of whipping cream and then a tablespoon of icing sugar and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, I'll just give that a little stir here. Show you what we're looking at now. Okay, so we're starting to get a nice 
thick layer here. Nicely ripped up here. So still really liquidy, but at the different parts, you're gonna get a few little chunks. That's just the eggs cooking. So we're just gonna give them a nice little stir and that'll loosen them up. Okay, and then back in the microwave we go. So I do 30 seconds at a time at this point to be able to check it, give another stir, and then really check for the thickness and consistency of your curd. So the other thing I was saying that I do is I make a fresh whipping cream and then I'll alternate lemon curd with whipping cream and then lemon curd and then whipping cream and then top it with fresh berries. It's a really nice light dessert um, that also works really well with our Good Food Grill Results meal plan. So that's a, a great option for you too. It's always nice to add some extra desserts into that kind of a meal plan so you're not feeling like you're depriving yourself of anything whenever you're doing a healthy eating um, meal plan, right? Okay. Bring this out. Give it another stir. And this just needs another 30 seconds and it's gonna be ready to go. So you can see it's pretty nice and light yellow there. All right, so almost done. One more 30 second increment and that's gonna be ready to go. After you're done with your cooking, all you need to do is chill it in the fridge for an hour and then let it set and it'll be ready to use. So you'll be, you can spoon it out and put it into your tarts at that point. Um, or if you're just gonna use it for breakfast in the morning with your yogurt and granola, then you can kind of store it in that bowl. You can keep it for a few days too. I usually make mine up and then they'll be good for four or five days uh, if it lasts that long. <laughs> and uh, we use it that way. So it's really nice and handy to have in your fridge. And this is perfect now this a nice little stir and then I'll show you a little bit closer how much thicker that's gotten. I'm gonna grab something to hold that with because that's a little hot. But you can see now maybe how much thicker that is and as that sits in the fridge it's just gonna firm up a little bit more. So at this point I'm just gonna add my tablespoon of butter and that again just helps with the consistency uh, and adds a little bit of that salty flavor too from the butter, the creaminess that will come from that. You just stir that in until it's fully melted. And then I'm gonna set it in the fridge and I'm gonna forget about it for an hour. And then I'm probably gonna make some lemon tarts for dessert tonight for my family. I'll take some pictures of those and post them later. But uh, that's how quick and easy and simple it is to make Epicure's Luscious Lemon Curd. Hope you enjoy. Thanks everybody.